one per one example of of a difficult time that I had in graduate school was I initially joined um, uh, graduate school as a PhD student at MIT, and I was very enthusiastic about the lab that I had joined. Um, but I found it difficult. Um, I found the experiment difficult. I found it difficult to um, to to perform essentially. And after a few months, I, I felt the need to actually um, you know leave the lab and find a different situation. And so um, that came at you know a great surprise to me and um, and yielded a lot of anxiety. Um, one needs to find one's path in science, what you like to do. What, what maybe you've got a facility to do. Um, and so all of that was thrown in upheaval um, in my first year. And so it turned out to be a really valuable lesson because in doing that, you find out what you really like and, and um, you know, what type of science you really wanna pursue, but it involves a lot of um, formation of a new identity. You know, what type of science do I wanna pursue? How do I wanna pursue it? With whom do I wanna pursue it? Um, and so that period of self-discovery, um, you know, had its rough moments. Um, and so what I did was I, I, I tried different labs, I joined different groups and kind of found my own unique rhythm. Um, but that definitely came at, at, at a high cost in the very beginning. Um, there was a lot of frustration, a lot of self-doubt um, that came along with it. So. I think, you know, um, being patient and exploring new things and, and just not giving up um, was what enabled me to find that path and then ultimately finish.